It's very hot today at Living Room Requests, but we're very pleased to be here. So I'm going to say hello and welcome to everybody um, <laughs> to what is our 25th concert that oh, we've uploaded of Patricia Hammond and Matt Redman Living Room Requests. Amazing. And you're going to see an increasing amount Amazing. of wearing shorts. So if you've got a problem with, with that, no, he's going to have to click thumb down. <laughs> comment on Matt's show. So this is a full concert this time, isn't it? This is a meaning that it's for one person's request. It's, it's for John. It's for John. So thank you so much, John. John is, he's got, I mean, before this all went down, my speciality was Edwardian songs, Victorian songs, that sort of thing. And um, John has enabled us to continue in that because all of these Pretty much, although this one we're starting with is from 1929. Doing 10s and 20s and yeah. Exactly. This first one is called Sigoina. It's from Bittersweet, which was a show um, by uh, Noel Coward. And um, we're going to start with that. Matt has got... Oh, I'm going to play the cymbala, which is the Central European hammered dulcimer. You should really check check them out if, you, if you're not familiar with them. Fantastic instrument. It sounds a lot like a grand piano. Uh, but sort of more muted, doesn't with it? A, with a yeah. carpet inside. Yeah, yeah, it does. It sounds very old worldy, but um, that's the idea. Just to let you know, if you enjoy these concerts, you can easily. Uh, I'm in this camera here, by the way, because I'm on oh. the camera. You can easily um, request your own at patriciahammond.com forward slash requests, and there's a list there of all the songs that we've done as well, isn't there? Yes, over a right. hundred. Here we go. Uh, 
I met, um, that was a great intro. I really liked that. Thank you. Um, I met, word paint, you know. I met one of the original cast of that show from 1929, Hugh right. Quaino. Hugh Quaino. I went on pilgrimage to Vevey to, to see him. He was 102. It's uh, in Switzerland, by the way. Yeah, Vevey. Not everybody would know that. Well, you know. Right, we've come to an important moment in the show and our little uh, series here. Um, so Patricia's going to tell you about a discovery of hers uh, from a short while ago. And I'm going to tell you about a discovery of mine from literally a few minutes ago. And that's that, as I said, this is our 25th uh, concert. Yes. Um, and... If I just In check this, this set list, yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm going to tell you about my little discovery before this song, and she's going to tell you about her discovery before the next song. Because the song that we're about to play, um, A Little Love, A Little Kiss, uh, which is from slightly earlier, 1912, is actually the 150th song that we've recorded for Living Room <gasps> Request. Oh, so we might put that in the title of the video if it will 150th fit. song. That's a lot, isn't it? That is a, that is a lot. How That's... many of those do you reckon you haven't known? Uh, well, um, most. Over hot. <laughs> mm, 7, 60, 70%? Oh, at least 60%. Yeah. Because, although I, I should say, and I was thinking that a little bit, is that I shouldn't really say, oh yeah, um, you know, this is great. We're doing this concert. It's entirely songs from the, the past, of the, you know, the era that I'm particularly feel myself identifying with because I love a challenge and I love being brought out of my comfort zone and this series has really done it if you that, look at the list excellent. of stuff. Can't, can't deny that. Oh my goodness. Anybody who doesn't know what the instrument that I'm oh, holding yes. is called a an 18 string contra guitar or contra guitar. Very, 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 very close related to uh, the hot. Oh, it's notice. It's just got another crack, but then, <gasps> that's uh, you know to be expected in the current season. This, this I think was was made during some really, really thin times. Made some in thin East times, Germany. and it's made of pine. Anyway, <laughs> a lot of detail. Just to say that you can watch our previous video, uh, which you can find on the channel Patricia Hammond Songs, because that I already talked about it very recently, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, but you can never say enough about this because people ask such questions. Yeah, people, I mean, are, people always ask. Well, he's crowded I... round at the end of an actual live concert, of which we have very few these days, but he's always crowded round with people asking about it. So he's anticipating those questions. And if you want to see more weird instruments and more of Patricia's uh, Victorian, Edwardian, 1920s, 30s, 40s, 50s, all sorts of, including modern songs, then do subscribe. Please subscribe, please. It makes a difference. Now, this song, um, I was rejoiced when I read that that uh, John would like this song um, because this song is, I have with me, I've been collecting sheet music for years and years. And um, I honestly, I uh, yeah, I'll turn back. Yeah, and, okay. yeah, that's a good, 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 good. Yep, 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 yep. Um, yeah, and, and so, yeah, for years and years. And, um, I 
uh, and I, I always have a, a big pile of music that I like to get to, to try out in public, you know, to try it out. And, um, you know, you can't do that very often because, you know, you don't want to people like, hi, everybody, you're all guinea pigs, never done this song before, don't know what an audience will react like. It's not a well-known song from the past. You might not have heard of it. You know, you kind of, you're, you're really pushing your luck there. You don't want people to be too angry. So you can't do too many of those in one concert. So I have carried this song around with me for years, um, years, just because I wanted to try it. I love it. I wanted to try it in public and never got around to it. So thank you, John, my goodness. Thank you for asking for this one. Hilariously, I've been carrying it around for so long, I can't find the actual sheet music. It's in some trunk somewhere, and so we have a oh, photocopy. Copy. That's okay. Never mind. So I go, it's straight through, and then... If it's all straight through, that's fine. I think it's all straight okay. through, you know. Great. It Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just a little love, a little kiss from 1912. Might even be a bit earlier. But this is 1912.
Oh, gorgeous piece. This piece has a... You sure make that instrument sound expensive. I'll tell you that. I don't know. I can imagine... Wouldn't people... keep cracking if it was. <laughs> That's the thing. He bought it on eBay and he tuned it. You talk about Tightened that it. Back. And then it uh, and and then it practically snapped in half. I mean, it just went and it had to go to two different luthiers to try and sort of straighten it out, strengthen it. It's just, oh goodness. And it continues. Well, you know, what can you do? What can you what can you do? It was never very expensive to begin with. I, I think. Anyway, they don't care. Tell them about your yes, amazing do. discovery. You care. You care. Uh, oh, uh, I just wanted to say oh, there is sorry. an instruction here. Con entusiasmo. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Con enthusiasmo. I'm sorry. I, I like that. I, I, I'm, I'm easily pleased. What can I say? Now, this next song I got out of this marvelous, marvelous stack of books, which I must explain and tell you about, um, because I've constantly been looking for some sort of, if you know anybody who has any funding, any platform, I really want to showcase these amazing books. These came from this... Um, this elderly lady that, uh, well, she's not that early. Well, anyway, she was a student at the Royal Academy of Music in the 1970s. And uh, she was a singer. And uh, she, ooh, that sounds eerie. Sorry, that's <laughs> That's marvelously really eerie. <laughs> it's like a, a radio drama. Anyway, um, so she, she, um, she used to, uh, as when she was a student, she used to sing and entertain the AJR, the Association of Jewish Refugees, which started up in 1933 for obvious reasons. And um, the elderly ladies at the AJR, she would perform her pieces, her Handel and her Mozart. And one day she said to them, what kind of music would you like me to do? Um, and suddenly the old music books poured in and she was given these incredible things that these ladies had brought over with them when they came to Britain as mm -hmm. refugees. Um, all of them are light music, uh, light music five, fünf or tea, tea dance songs from the 1920s. Mm. They've got incredible covers. And what's remarkable about them is that they stylistically, musically, they are a real cross Next. section. They are, yeah, the, the covers are gorgeous. They are a cross section of um, sort of Tin Pan Alley of the time in German translation. Some that, you know, I've never seen anywhere. Um, and and also German operetta and, um, you know, operetta. That says Tausend Takte Tanz, I think. A hundred, a thousand bars of dance, dance music. It's incredible. I mean, I got so many of them. Anyway, of Tea course, dance. of course, Ich küsse ihre Hand, Madame was in them. Very we cool. would love to do these. We'd love to do a concert. We'd love to do a, we'd love to do a project. We'd love to do a CD. We'd love to, oh, we must do something with these, but we, we, uh, we'd need just a bit of funding for it. Um, the AJR, it's it's amazing. These these things, they are they are a cultural. Like I I could see a whole exhibition, like putting them oh, in yeah. frames. Definitely, you know? definitely, definitely. So if you think of being a refugee, you know, you take the things that are most meaningful to you. And people sometimes speak slightingly of light music. They sort of go like, oh, light music, it's not important. You know, give us give us our Brahms. But you know, it's light music had its real, like clearly comforting, and important place so i'm gonna to remember to use matt's given Second me a few time things round. to do you're gonna sing it in german or english german first then english because that's what's interesting about these books is that they have both german and english this one ich küsse ihre hand madame is originally german of course but i mean there are some brilliant things in those books some german translations of things you wouldn't think you know Anyway, and I've just got to process all the different keys. In but my they head often, yeah, they'll imagine. they'll print both English and and German in in many of them, like this one. Huh. Also late twenties, isn't it? Yes, 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 exactly. This is nineteen twenty nine, like the first one we did actually, but from Bittersweet, nineteen twenty nine. <laughs> Ich lieb sie, 
seit vielen Wochen. Wir haben manchmal auch davon gesprochen. Was nützt das alles? Mein Pech dabei ist, dass ach ihr Herzchen leider nicht mehr frei ist. Ihr Blick gebietet mir, sei still. Doch träumen kann ich, was ich will. Ich küsse ihre Hand, Madame, und träume es für ihr Mund. Ich bin ja so galant, Madame, doch das hat seinen Grund. Habe ich erst ihr Vertrauen, Madame, und ihre Sympathie, wenn sie erst auf mich bauen, Madame, ja dann sie werden schauen, Madame, küss ich statt ihrer Hand, Madame, nur ihren Sometimes I wonder if hearts are broken by little love songs that are left unspoken. I always tremble when you are near me. I'm looking for a ray of hope to cheer me. I hope to keep my kisses warm until we meet in shadow form. Kiss your hand, Madame, your dainty fingertips. And while in slumberland, Madame, I'm begging for your lips. I haven't any right, Madame, to do the things I do. Just when I hold you tight, Madame, you vanish with the night, Madame, in dreams I kiss your hand, Madame, and pray my dreams Le feu s'éteint, l'ombre se glisse dans le jardin. L'horloge tisse des sons très longs. Je crois entendre ton pas. Le vent m'apporte des bruits lointains. Qu'attend ma porte? J'écoute en vain. Et là, plus rien, plus rien. Cherchez l'oubli dans son lit.
Nice. <laughs> Other than saying le nuit rather than la nuit, which any first year French person would jump on well, me I'll tell for. you what, we sang one song in German, one song in French. It makes me very happy. Also, we didn't announce that that was a value added. I know it's la um, nuit, but you know you sing and your, your brain does funny things. Any singer will tell you. Well, I'll tell it's you the what. the vibrations in the brain. I tell you what, what happens. We got, we bought, we bought, you know, I was going to say buy one, get one free, but actually we just <laughs> included it free. A medley, a medley never hurt anybody. We didn't include it free because John paid and John was very nice to do that. Yeah. So John, I hope you don't mind that we, we melded those two songs it together. Seemed, it seemed like a good opportunity for Patricia to show her language skills and her percussion skills. Le nuit, that's her language skill right there. Singers, I swear to you, there's something that happens to the brain. So after all uh, that excitement. All that excitement. Ah, my hair's oh, in my I, I think we put them together because Ich küsse ihre Hand, madame, is supposedly, but like got a sort of French vibe. Yeah, like I a think Frenchman the, I think the singer, romantic. I think the speaker is French. Right. I think he's French. So what better way to Various do that clues. than give him his own song? Yeah, yeah, he's waiting. I also right. said, anyway. This is the last song today. It's live. This is live. This is live. We do the live. If a mistake happens, a mistake happens. If I say le nuit twice in a song instead of la nuit, there it is for the world, for posterity. And now we're going back to 1916, yes? 1916. Right. Poor Butterfly. Now, I've done this before. Good I've song. done this with a band which I was in with Matt. Yeah. In, well, I was a guest. I was a guest. It was very funny. Guest. Good song. At, at Andrea, my colleague pianist, she said, when, back when I was in this band, she says, are you guest or are you guest? <laughs> and I said, depends on the day, really. Um, <laughs> wasn't that good? I love that, Andrea. You're brilliant. Um, <laughs> She's good at working anyway, the band out. was called Albert Ball's Flying Aces, and we used to do this. And so I've done this before. but um, A lot of people play this in the jazz idiom. Which ah, you may or they? may not be aware of because See, that, is not, that is not an idiomatic world to which you are accustomed. To which I belong. Definitely not. Um, I wouldn't even be guest for them. No way. In a, the lot, jazz of, idiom. In a lot of my occasions, people, people play this. So uh, we'll take it a little bit closer, perhaps, to its original intention. And I'll tell you one thing what that 1916. is. 1916. Is very slow, which people do play it slow, but it's actually very slow. It's, In fact, it's slowly with much expression. The That's whole Madame is. Butterfly play, and you know, it was a craze. I mean, you had you had Puccini. face powders, you had Puccini doing an opera. It was originally a play, and and I think it was around about this time. It was very trendy. It was it it, it made all sorts of um, trends happen. Um, everything Japanese was quite trendy at that time, 1916 and 1915. Um, also, I'm going to say this now late for anybody Edwardian. that's still watching. Comment below if you'd if like. If you're still watching. <laughs> comment below if you'd like a Patricia Hammond and Matt Redman um, podcast and what you'd like it to look like. There are ideas afoot, but uh, just the people who are watching and maybe the people who would listen to it, you know? Yeah, well, that, yeah. I, yeah. We, I'm going to play this, which one is. One thinks of all sorts of things during these days. Which is currently tuned as a mando cello. As so nice. there we go. And Patricia might have a secret weapon somewhere. Secret nearby. weapon which will come as no surprise to anyone. Oh, it's first class, guys. With modulation. Yes. Oh. Modulation yeah. four. Yes, 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 yes. First chorus, chorus. Yeah. 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 I tell you what, I'm going to play it in the correct key. Oh. oh no, that was. <laughs> He's ahead of himself. Sometimes my, my mind, you know. <laughs> He's transposing this. This is great. Butterfly, her name, a sweet 
I just must die That's a matter of opinion. I was thinking while I was doing this of, um, you know, a view to a kill when Grace Jones is up at the top of the Eiffel Tower and there's this sort of shishi nightclub that sort of place and she's got this show where there's these butterflies. They're playing nose players. And one of the butterflies is like a stinging thing with poison and they're, they're all sort of going with it. And yeah, and she's got like a like a fishing rod on, on one of them. And it has this eerie music while they're going. Like, like, that's a very specialist type whatever of nightclub need, what, entertainment. Whatever you need Weird to get your motivation for playing a nose clue. If you've enjoyed any of that, <laughs> oh, butterfly. Uh, please press a thumbs up on the video. And, uh, and share subscribe. it. Tell a friend. We yeah, love... sharing's the best. We need more more audience. You Last know? time I said sharing's the kicker, and I, I didn't mean that. I meant sharing's <laughs> I the real meant. one that you know really makes a difference. It does. It does. Yeah, to get the word out. No, it's it's great. You know, we 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 all need audiences. I know the world's in a terrible state, and I saw this meme recently. It was like you know the rest of the world, bit fire, storms, brimstone, and then musicians. I've got this uh, online performance. Oh right. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, musicians, but you know, I mean, it's 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 music and it's interaction and yeah, and it's crazy. Who knows what's gonna happen? I could sing low instead of la. Stuff can happen anyway. Well, if that's as wild Thank as it gets. Thank you for your gets. patience. <laughs> Watching my hair slowly in the heat wilt. See you. Yeah, it's about it's about forty it's degrees Celsius in this room. Hot. It's uh yeah, it is a hundred degrees Fahrenheit. So. That is what we're dealing with. We will see you next time, you uh, next hopefully time. for a cooler living room request. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. That was a superb choice. Bye-bye.